Hi guys, welcome to this short video about the question what to do when your Windows 10 computer is saying that it doesn't have a Bluetooth device when you know that it actually has Bluetooth. That happened just a couple of minutes ago for me and I had to do quite some research and I found the trick and so I wanted to show you how to fix that. This is how it is when you hit the Windows key and start typing Bluetooth and then you go to Bluetooth and the devices and usually you have this button here to turn Bluetooth on and off but uh, if there is no toggle here to turn it on then obviously Windows 10 thinks there is no Bluetooth device and then you can't do anything, you cannot pair, you can't remove anything, you can't do anything. What you have to do is then to go to the device manager just hit the windows key again and type device something like that and you go to the device manager look something like that and usually you will find your bluetooth device in usb i mean universal serial bus controllers here we have it Let's go here, we have the device manager and then we open this here, universal serial bus controller, we click here and we can open that and what happened, you can see this on my saved image, how it looked, I'll move this a little bit to the side and you can see how it looked, it said unknown USB device and I was thinking, okay, that's probably my Bluetooth device. What I did then, I rebooted my PC a couple of times, even with disabling fast boot up, and it didn't help. I mean, this is something which a lot of people are uh, suggesting to uh, remove the fast boot up, and then it, I mean, sometimes it can help, but I would uh, go here, uh, usually if you didn't have any problems before with boot up, so uh, boot up doesn't have to be changed, so just go here, I mean, it ha this happens sometimes, maybe this happens every two years or so for me and uh, what I did yeah of course I go back a little bit to this thing I right clicked on this thing here where it says unknown right click and I was uh, clicking on disabling so for some reason it's not showing up anymore it was here before but I'm just choosing anything here let's say we right click here and then you have to click on disabled device this one here which has the triangle here click on disable and it will come up with this warning disable this device will cause to stop functioning yeah, of course this is what we want click on yes and after that i mean i don't have anything then you would have to click enable again of course here because it's already enabled uh, enabling doesn't show up but in your case you will have to hit enable and after that it was instantly showing then the uh, bluetooth device again for some reason uh, it's removed or it's not showing up maybe there's a, a trick here or maybe some settings which uh, remove a couple of things when they are working and uh, not needed usually to uh, do anything or it even moved yeah it even moved here to the top yeah that's weird so it, it was removed from the usb or like from the universal service bus controller it was removed up here so, and now we find it here again before it was not here of course it was just down here so it's a little bit weird what microsoft is doing by the way as a last resort option if everything fails and you cannot turn this Bluetooth, the internal Bluetooth on again, there's always the possibility to add Bluetooth hardware again to your computer using a USB dongle. You can get them for, yeah, I think they're starting from about five to ten dollars. Yeah, cheapest here. I think that's the one here. Five dollar ninety nine has even not has not even bad reviews. So this is the last thing which you can do if you cannot make this running again and you need Bluetooth. So buy the thing. You get it one or two days later and uh, you can then reconnect uh, whatever you have Bluetooth headphones or whatever you need to connect to this adapter and you will have Bluetooth again. And I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing of these devices down into the description so you can check them out and order something right away for you it's always recommended to have something on the side just in case you need bluetooth and it goes off i have seen this many many 
times happening for me and other people so it's always good I mean it's just six dollars it's always good to have something on the side uh, usually that should do the trick at least it was working for me and I hope it will work for you too so if you have any questions or comments or other opinions on that uh, maybe better easier solutions whatever we have please write everything down into the feedback area I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time